Hello crafters, this is Flavia and I appreciate you stopping by. Today we will create a fun shadow box note card. It is very easy to make and a fun surprise for the recipient. You will not need any specialty die to create this card base and you can use any die set that you might already have to decorate your note card. Today I will be using the Spellbinders Sitting Pretty die set to decorate my shadow box note card and here is a closer look. This set comes with 15 metal plates to cut out branches and leaves, two large flowers, and two hummingbirds that we can tuck inside a large flower. Let's begin by adding some shading to these green die cut leaves and branches. To do so, I will be using the Simon Says Stamp ink pad in the color Fairway and a small blending brush. This step is definitely optional, but it does add a lot of dimension to your die cuts and it really brings them to the next level. Here is a closer look so you can see the difference between an ink blended die cut, which is the one on the left, versus a die cut without any shading. Let's now put together the beautiful die cut flowers. To cut out these pieces, I used colored cardstock by Spellbinders, and you can find everything used in this video in the description box down below. To glue these pieces together, I'm using the Barely Arts glue, which is a strong liquid adhesive that dries clear. I decided to transfer this glue to this small needle tip bottle so I can have more control over the amount that I'm applying. And to help me pick up the really small die cuts, I like to to use either a wax pencil or a pair of self-lock tweezers. These two tools really make the process more enjoyable. To make the eyes for the hummingbirds black, I will use black nouveau drops. However, instead of applying it over my die cut pieces, I will actually apply a small amount of nouveau drops on small pieces of cardstock scraps and then place the die cut hummingbirds on top of it while the black nouveau drop is still wet. As I press my die cuts down, it will squeeze out just the right amount and I will end up with perfectly round drops for the hummingbirds eyes. I always do this trick when creating my critter's eyes with nouveau drops because there is no risk of messing up my die cut pieces if I happen to apply too much of it. Let's now create our shadow box note card. Here is a closer look at a completed note card so you know the direction we are going. I learned how to make this type of note card watching the amazing Jennifer Maguire and according to the notes that I took while watching her videos, we will need one piece of cardstock that measures 6 by 5 inches, another one that measures 5 by 7 inches and a third one that measures 5 by 9 inches. We will set this 5 5 by 7 piece aside for now and begin by scoring the 6 by 5 inches panel at half an inch from both sides. So we will create a score line at half an inch first and then at 5 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. 
Now we will score the 5 by 9 inches piece of cardstock at 2 inches from both ends. The 6 by 5 inches piece of cardstock is the panel that we will cut out a window from. I will use a circle die, but you can actually use any shape of metal plates to cut a window out of this panel. The next step is to dry emboss these panels. This step is definitely optional, but if you choose to do so, make sure you dry emboss it before adhering these pieces together. The embossing folder that I'm using is the Spellbinders Branching Out Embossing Folder. I will Try emboss the whole 6 by 5 inches panel and then just one 2 inches flap of the 5 by 9 inches panel. This section of the 5 by 9 inches panel that I am dry embossing will be the bottom of the front panel of my note card when it is closed and it will become the top of my shadow box when the note card is open. Before adhering these pieces together, I will reinforce the score lines one more time and fold it again. To make it easier for me to perfectly line up these panels as I glue them together, I will place them on the corner of my scoring tool. I will begin by placing that 5 by 7 inches piece of cardstock that we set aside earlier in place and then adhere the 5 by 9 inches panel on top. I will keep this 2 inches flap that I did not dry emboss folded and apply liquid adhesive only over this section. Make sure this is completely dry before moving on to the next step. Now I will turn my 5 by 9 inches panel around so the 2 inches dry emboss section is on the top of my scoring tool. To adhere the panel with the cutout window, we will first apply liquid adhesive to one flap and adhere it to the 5 by 9 inches panel that I have on the corner of my scoring tool. Before moving on to the last step, I will actually add another layer of this panel with a cutout window just to make it sturdy so it it stands nicely on display later. I will be adding lots of die cuts to this window, so I really need it to be strong. Once that's done, the final step is to unfold this other flap of the 6 by 5 inches panel, apply liquid adhesive below the score line and fold the note card closed. Once this is dry, we can go ahead and open the note card to reveal a fun shadow box. To give it a more finished look, I will adhere thin cardstock strips above the dry embossed section at the front panel and below the shadow box inside the note card. Then we can go ahead and have some fun decorating the front panel and creating a scene for the shadow box.
to create a background panel to my shadow box, I will ink blend a piece of cardstock that is about 5 by 5 inches. I'm using a blue ink pad so I can create a sky background. Then I will add white die cut clouds that I cut out using an old set by Spellbinders. I will also add a hot foiled sentiment that I created with the Spellbinders must have sentiments, glimmer hot foil plates and die set. I love this set because it has sentiments for many occasions and the letters are very bold and pretty. I also love that we only get two large plates because this set was designed so we can hot foil and die cut all of these sentiments at once, which is such a time saver. Instead of creating a separate background panel, we could definitely have done this directly onto the note card before assembling the shadow box. However, I do not mind doing it separately because this extra layer of cardstock will definitely make my note card feel heavyweight and stand nicely on display. To add some sparkle to these white clouds, I will go over them with my shimmer pen and after that I will adhere this panel inside my shadow box. I will also add another layer of cardstock inside my note card right below this green cardstock strip. This will be the place to write a personal message later. And last but not least, I will create a frame for my round window by using that same round metal plate that I used to cut it out and a slightly bigger one. I had a lot of fun creating with the Spellbinders sitting pretty die set and I hope you enjoyed this video and felt inspired. Here is a closer look at all of the note cards that I have created with this die set so far. If you're interested, I have a list of all products used in the description box down below. And if you make something inspired by this video, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you create. For pictures and more information, make sure to visit my blog. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Take care and happy crafting!